Nakababae si Misa. Hindi <laughs> ako ah, si Dave ang best friend na na. <laughs> Never naman ako nagkaroon ng best friend. Si Dave lang naman na nagkakaroon ng best friend. Ha? <laughs> Chucky. <laughs> si Pampa. Hindi <laughs> naman, naman ako nagkakaroon ng best friend. <laughs> si ano lang naman. Bira lang naman ako magkaroon ng hot take. Una minuta.
Match day two of the 2023 Copa Paulino Alcantara back here again at the Rizal Memorial Stadium. And we will see the return of Dabao Aguilas UMAC FC as they face Adamson University. Welcome to the broadcast. My name is Jamer De La Cruz, your commentator for this first game of this Sunday doubleheader of the Copa Paulino Alcantara. From the foothills of Mount Apo to the solid ground of the Uni University of Makati, Davao Aguilas UMAC FC are hoping to return to top flight football where they once belong and they will prove a point with the squad that they have up against Adamson University who had a promising season in the UAAP and will be using the Copa Paulino Alcantara not only to expose themselves in terms of experience but also to use this as their preseason for the upcoming UAAP season. Let's take a look at the starting lineups for Davao Aguilas UMAC FC. Some key players returning to the fold of professional football by the likes of OJ Clarino, Marvin Angeles who transferred in this season as well as the return of Paulo Bugas, who will be the key man for Davao Aguilas UMAC FC. On the substitute, we will also see their Serge Kaole, who once played for Maharlika Manila FC, now playing for Davao, as well as some other key players in Uriel Dalapo, uh, Santino Rosales, and the rest of Davao Aguilas UMAC FC. On the other side, we look uh, the starting lineup of the Soaring Falcons of Adam University. Three missing players as they've already graduated. And you could also see on the touchline their new head coach, Darlton Diga, uh, one of the senior players of the previous season, now uh, leading the pack from the bench. Starting lineups for Adamson University sees Rizel Jose as their team captain, Andrew Nalog uh, replacing. The uh, departing uh, Zach Suarez uh, in the middle of the sticks. It will be interesting to see how the young boys from San Marcelino will figure out their way into this professional football setup that has been provided to us by the Copa Paulino Alcantara. Please do make sure to share the stream to your friends and family as we gather here today once more for some football action in the Copa Paulino Alcantara. We would also like to thank all of the viewers as well as the stakeholders of Philippine football for supporting and keeping the legacy that we have in stock for this tournament. A few minutes before kickoff, Davo Aguilas, like what Coach Abel Rusgal mentioned, it will be a mix of young blood and the veterans, and they will try to infuse the system that he already started with University of Makati and try to build their way up, go back to top, club, uh, top flight club football and be amongst the best in the country. On the other side, Adamson had a plenty of action in the UAAP season last time around, held their own against the likes of Ateneo, the champions Far Eastern University, and also uh, snatched a point in their final game of the season against the De La Salle University Green Archers. So in just a few minutes, we will have Davo Aguilas UMAC FC up against Adamson University here at the 2023 Copa Paulino Alcantara.
So the players are here. The squad is out on the pitch. Davo Aguilas, UMAC FC ready to claw their way back to top flight club football. And Adamson University proving a point that they belong with the big boys here in Philippine football. It's match day two of the Copa Paulino Alcantara 2023 here at the Rizal Memorial Stadium and an exciting match at hand as both sides will try and make a great first impression in their first group stage match. Refreshing everyone in the format of the competition. The teams are divided into three groups from group A to C. The top two teams from all the groups will progress to the knockouts alongside the two best third place quads of the tournament. From then on, it will be an all-out battle for the crown, which is called the Copa Paulino Alcantara. Crown has been vacated with United City FC and uh, in 2021 and Kaya FC Luilo winning the Philippines Football League and also getting their hands at that trophy our officials for today's match Mick John Pineda assisted by Segundo Salurio III Brian Buergo and our fourth official is Chris Mark Nagnola. Team captains getting their final talk with the referee. The toss coin to determine who will be kicking things off in match day two of your Copa. Adamson once again had a promising season in the last UAAP. I would like to correct myself. Uh, they weren't able to get a point against LaSalle in their final match of the season, but it made it difficult for the Taft-based booters. Uh, LaSalle had to win it late against Adamson, but in the course of the season, they were able to gather a point against the uh, champions Far Eastern University as well as University of the East. Not only they will be playing in uh, the Copa Paulino Alcantara as their preseason, they will also be playing in the uh, Ang Liga which would start in a couple of weeks time. Davao Aguilas will start the game and Yannick Tuason starts this off in the Copa Paulino Alcantara. And listen to the drums! Of the audio, the official supporters of the Adamson University. Kung akala nyo sa UAAP nyo lang maririnig yung ganitong atmosphere, meron din tayo nyan sa Copa Paulino Alcantara. Thank you so much to the community of Adamson University for bringing out your supporters in this match. Davao starting the play from the black back with Ferrer. Putting it forward for player number 11, Angeles. Wasn't able to uh, make something out of it, but they regained possession out here with Tuason. Or rather, that was Sapal. Now they take it back to OJ Clarino. Starting to play once more, all the way to the back. Paolo Bugas, our TikTok star. Had his first touch of the ball. Sapal gauging the field, sending the ball forward, the through pass towards player number 13, Carl Arcart Talarok, but easily ushered out by the goalkeeper as they have a throw in out here for Davao. So we have Adamson. We have the University of the Philippines as well as Far Eastern University joining the Copa Paulino Alcantara 
So for all the students in the community of those universities, make sure to come by and watch the matches here at the Rizal Memorial Stadium when your team plays against the best of the best in club football. Adamson wins possession through a throw-in. Chance of A. D.U. Let's go. As Adamson tried to make something out of their possession, but it was easily thwarted by Davao Aguilas Umac FC. And they go for the quick counterattack. Looking for Rendon Shell on the left side. Ball goes out for a throw in. Adamson sitting deep in defense. As Davo Aguilas try to make an attempt. Couldn't get the right control as Adamson tries to win for possession. And now Davao takes it all the way back to their goalkeeper, Kenneth Gubalio. Great pressure being put on by Adamson out here. Goalkeeper is out of his own box. A strike from distance. But that's going to go out. But it'll be a first threat from the UAAP team. Gubalia misjudging the pass and misjudging the touch. Putting him under immense pressure from Adamson. And right on cue, Adamson regains possession and will try to start the play from the back. And Paulo Bugas with a great effort on defense. Paulo Bugas still chasing for the ball. The strike from Yannick Tuason was saved by Andrew Nalog. A little bit of nervy moments for the goalkeeper, but he was able to hold on to that dear ball. And Adamson forced to push the ball out for a throw in, giving Davao Aguilas Yumak FC a chance to recompose themselves and go for the attack. Here's Paulo Bugas through pass over the right side, taken away by Napili. You can see the intensity from Davao right at the get go, trying to go for the kill and get the possession from the own box of Adamson University. Clark Talarok with the ball. He's going to take it back to Romel Katarinin. Cielo wasn't able to get the 1 2. And the ball goes back to Adamson. There's Adamson with a long ball looking for player number 7, Carl Mahinai. But they still have possession, and this is the first foul of the match. Richard Talarok Jr. with a late challenge, giving a free kick for Adamson University. Roque Empleo was the player that was taken down with the effort earlier that led to the foul. So he will be taking this free kick as well for Adamson. Here's the delivery inside the box, straight to the bosom of Kenneth Gobaglio. Jake Larinha misjudged the pass. So the ball goes back to Adamson. Easily gathered once more by Davao. Great block there from the Pili. And now here's Mahinai. Oh, Jake Larinha goes down. No foul is called. Thought we we're going to get an advantage. But it will be a foul against Adamson University. Larina to take the free kick, or rather it's going to be taken by their team captain, Talarok. Bugas 
sitting a little bit deeper than his usual role. He's taking on the midfield position right now for Davao. One of the standouts as well from Mindanao. Poor pass, but it goes back to Talarok. Bugas. Great pressure on by Adamson. Mahinai try to go for the ball. The experienced Talarok wins. And right away, counter-attack time for Davao Aguilas, UMAC FC. Clarino down the right wing. Passing it back to Yannick Tuason. Tuason looking for the man inside the box. Cielo could not get to the ball. And on the other side, Adamson is running for the counter-attack. Great through pass. And Adamson with a strike. Chipping it over the bar. But outside the goal. Laurent Hayaon with a golden opportunity is missing the chance. They will ask that to come back to them. Hopefully it will not hunt them back. Now Davao with possession. Shello through pass. Looking for Angeles down the left side. Ball goes back to Adamson. Mahinai with possession for Adamson University being challenged by player number 13 Kart Talarok who gets the foul too strong of a challenge and Adamson wins a free kick RJ Benobra Gauging the options up front. Will they go for the long ball? Yes, they will. Couldn't get it inside the box for Adamson. But Edwin Doctora goes for the chase. There's Davao. Going on a counter-attack is Henik Tuason. Running down the left wing inside the box. Cleared away by the defense, but the pressure stays on as Paulo Bugas regains possession for the Aguilas. Bugas ushered off. It'll be a first corner for Davao Aguilas, UMAC FC in this game. First 10 minutes have been nervy, testy, and tasty at the same time. As Paulo Bugas will take this corner, an outswinger. Couldn't get it to anybody inside the box as Rosel Jose heads it out. Davao wins possession once more. Inside the box for Tuason. Straight to the gloves of Andrew Nalog. We're past the first 10 minutes of the Battle of the Birds. With Aguilas holding possession as of the moment. Long ball forward. I think that was Ferrer who was the recipient of the ball. Great one two between Tuason and Ferrer. Tuason will formulate an attack. Bugas to Tuason. Tuason turns. Tuason turns once more. Pivots against the defender. Gives it over to Bugas. Bugas inside the box. Crosses the ball, but it's blocked for another corner. <laughs> corner number two for Davo Aguilas. Yumak inside the box. Glancing header from everybody wearing blue and red. That's going to go out for a goal kick. Right away, just 10 minutes into this broadcast, on Facebook alone, we have about a thousand and a hundred viewers watching the Copa Paulino Alcantara surpassing the regular viewership that we have in the Philippines Football League. Now, Davao 
on the attack. Twason keeps the ball in play for Davao. Adamson wins it once more. Lost the ball right away. Carino. Here's Talarok. Gives it to Ferrer. Ferrer, long ball forward. Twasson wasn't alert for that option, but the ball goes back for Davao Aguilas. UMAC FC. The soaring Falcons will be feeling that this is like the UAP. We're facing Eagles. It's not the Blue Eagles though, but the Eagles from Davao. Cartelaro. Great defense from Casey Napili. Ball goes out for another throw in. Now spreading the ball from the back with Romel Katarinin. Miscommunication amongst the Aguilas of Davao. As the ball goes out for a throw in. Adamson with possession again. Great play from the back. Opening things up for the soaring Falcons of San Marcelino. And a long ball forward looking for Mahinai, but the pass was too strong for him to chase. Our second game will feature CF Manila. Bannered by Philippine Ascos team captain who retired and unretired himself in the recent FIFA international friendly Stefan Schrock. Here we go. For Davao, Twason, 1 2 with Paolo Bugas. Bugas looking for the pass for Talarok. Kart Talarok slicing the middle of the pack of Adamson. But it all goes back to the goalkeeper. In our second game, Stefan Schrock and CF Manila will be facing the returning Loyola FC. That will be at 6.30 p.m. here at the Rizal Memorial Stadium as well. Counter-attack for Adamson. Player goes down for Davo. Doctora wins it for Adamson. Still with Adamson out here. Ball goes out for Davao Aguilas, Sumac FC. Great flick on by Angeles. He's taken down, so a foul is going to be called against Adamson. Konting oras pa. Ma isisingit na natin yung mga shoutouts natin dyan. Here's the long ball forward looking for Twason. Great first control. Good second. And here's the strike. What a lovely save by Andrew Nalog. Called into action, but was able to prevent an early goal from Yannick Twason and Davao Aguilas. Corner number three for Adamson, taken short and cleared out. By Adamson. The shout outs to the viewers that we do have in our stream in Facebook. Mart Sumastre, David Abelia, all the way from Rome, Italy. Kent Garcia and Paul Ryan Peconcillo. Adamson on the counter attack. Great long ball for Mahinai to use. Mahinai controls. Mahinai takes a strike. Weak effort. Goes out of the box. And goal kick for Davao. Carlo Caballo, shout out as well. Charles Lobitania. 
Fahad Ismail, thank you so much for watching. And uh, one of our Philippine Asgals also watching the game, Kevin Ingreso. And of course, uh, present in the venue, Mike Ataide. Thank you so much for your support. Of course, for supporting Davao Aguilas, UMAC FC as well. Mike Ataide known to be a uh, huge figure in grassroots football with the Youth Football League now with Davao Aguilas, UMAC FC. And of course, who could actually forget to greet our lovely coach, Coach Ernie Nieras. Davao couldn't get the pass working for them. And now Adamson wins possession once more. Team captain Jose gives it to player number 30, Banagodos. Over to the right wing with Doctora. Doctora cutting inside, cleared away. For another throw in. Official yellers, supporters, cheering squad of the Adamson University present here at the Rizal Memorial Stadium. Hopefully, we'll also see. The pep squad of the University of the Philippines as well as the Far Eastern University boosters in their upcoming matches in the Copa Paulino Alcantara as we go back into live action with Davao Aguilas UMAC FC getting it through to the defender is Cartalaro still with the Laro gives it over to the left side for Angeles. Angeles to Shello. Shello inside the box deflected out for another corner. Good stand shout out from Mantigao, Musamis Oriental, hometown of Talarok. Ball is out once more for Davao Aguilas UMAC FC to use. Now here's Davao, great flick on by Angeles. Here's the turn. And they will try to take it back. Talarok, still with Talarok. Great sliding tackle. And Bugas wins it once more for Davao. James, shout out from Cavite. Si singit singit natin yung mga shout outs natin sa mga nanonood. Abang umiinit ang laban dito sa Rizal Memorial Stadium. Davao on the counter. Ferrer taken down. Third foul of the game for Adamson. Martini Ray of the Far Eastern University. Tamarao is watching the game as well. And look at that. The power of shout outs. From 1,000 to 1,200 viewers real quick. Here's the ball from Bugas. Headed out by Adamson. They will keep it in play. Dava will regain possession again. Sapal to Ferrer. Building the play from the middle. Great through ball from Tuason towards the path of Paulo Bugas, who's now on the left wing. Straight to the goalkeeper. A little bit of miscommunication with his defender. But all is well. And it ends well for Adamson with Nalog. Oh, kita mo nga naman. Naglalaro lang to kagabi. Nagpapa shout out din. Chester Gio Pabualan of formerly of uh, Far Eastern University Tamaraus, who played yesterday for Philippine Air Force FC. Tuason for the ball on the right side for Clarino. Clarino goes past the defender down the byline inside the box. 
And uh, he was not able to find the teammate inside. They will go out once again for throw in for Adamson. Joseph Gungab of Tuloy FC, thank you so much for watching. That team produced possibly a game of the day yesterday. Winning three goals to two against Philippine Army. And proving that grassroots football has a path here in the Philippines. Adamson University now going, going for the counterattack. Mahinai controls. Mahinai takes a strike from distance. But, not, but the goalkeeper, Gubalio, saves it. Fourth shot from Adamson, surprisingly surpassing Davao's one shot on goal and one on target. Adamson with about 25% in shooting accuracy with four shots on goal and only one on target. Mahinai for Adamson, still with Mahinai. Couldn't get the ball against Clarino. <laughs> Great tussle out there between the young blood and the veteran. Napili heads it away. And now Adamson with possession. Couldn't get the pass through. All for the races. And now Adamson wins it again. Jose sends it forward. Sends it straight to the goalkeeper. Paolo Bugas now for Davao. Yannick Tuason. Great challenge from the defender, but Tuason wins it. Mahinai recovers possession for Adamson. Mahinai is doing everything he can to help his side against the experienced Davao Aguilas. Baka makalimutan ko, shout out as well to my family in Santa Maria Bulacan. Giselle de la Cruz, Celestine Margaret, Carl Lego, and uh, my baby, Alexia Hope. Thank you so much for supporting your daddy. Goal kick para sa Davao Aguilas, UMAC FC. Davao, no stranger to the Copa Paulino Alcantara, the first edition of the tournament. They went to the final against Kaya FC Iloilo, with Kaya managing to win through a late goal from Jovin Bedic. But right then, they have proven that they could be the next team to watch in the Philippines Football League. They made a squad for the Copa. But it seemed like they're already preparing for the Philippines Football League. Had decent partnerships as well before with the likes of Sean and Belmare. Oh. Let's take it easy. Let's take it easy. Calma, calma. Tensions flared up a bit. Cooler heads prevail. Of course, Adamson, being the young ones, want to battle it out against their kuyas. Here in the Copa Paulino Alcantara, Paulo Buga sends the ball inside the box. Great curling ball. But Tuazon, the recipient of that pass, just couldn't nudge it or head it inside the goal. Dan Hagay Lim, KL Tamiya. Kung sino sino pang nagpapa shout out jan sa stream o shout out na lahat sa inyo. Para isahan na lang bilang may atake ang Adamson University. Casey Napili. Di makakita ng teammate sa loob. 
Pero babalik ang bola sa Adamson. Mahinay. Binigay kay Napili. Napili inside the box. Kay gandang bola. Nakuha ng ating goalkeeper na si Kenneth Gubalio. Richard Talarok. Exchanges passes with Paulo Bugas. Nobody up front for Davao. Tuason said I'm here but was still dispossessed by Adamson. Talaro heads it out for a throw in halfway point of the first half and we're still scoreless and also Adamson showing that they could battle it out against the Giants this is what our commissioner Coco Torre mentioned as well in the pre-tournament conference that they want to see the disparity between the clubs and development teams here in the Philippines and we are seeing that it's not that far Mahinay inside the box for his teammate headed away by Ferrer. Adamson still with possession. Jose goes for the shot. But it goes out. And hopefully not that all the way out towards their UAAP enemies in uh, De La Salle University. Good thing that the uh, school or the university itself is on that right side away from that shot from Jose but Adamson couldn't get the pass through and now Ferrer will start the counter attack for Davao exchange passes with Tuason now Paulo Bugas on possession for Davao great through ball but the last man is alert to the possibility not allowing Shello to get to the ball Shello great fake Great cross as well! Had Kart Talarok been there on that far post, could have been an opener for Davao Aguilas UMAC FC. We'll talk about the standings in a few minutes. We're going to try to crunch the numbers and see. But as of the moment, in their own group, Tuloy FC is now at the top of the standings after that 3-2 win against Philippine Army. The Philippine Air Force at the top of their own standings after a 1-0 victory against Don Bosco Garelli United. Yannick Tuason, player all over the pitch, gives it over to Cart Talarog on the right side. Cart cuts in, great fake. Goes down the byline, inside the box, straight to the gloves of Andrew Nalog once more. Let's see this pass from Kart Talarok earlier. Which was met by the goalkeeper. Jose missed the pass in a counter-attack for Davo Aguilas with Kart Talarok. Here's Angeles to Yannick Tuason. Tuason flicks it. But saved by the goalkeeper. Going to count that as a shot on target as well for the deflection. Bugas with a through pass. Clearing it out. And now trying to get that 1-2 with Kart Talarok. Tuason, great one-two for Carl or Cart rather. Cart couldn't get it in play. And it rolls out for another throw in. Davo enjoying 57% of the possession over the 43% of Adamson University, but not that far of uh, a gap between the two. Davao sporting the blue and red kits. Adamson with their white and sky blue. Bugas to Angeles. Now to Talarok. Tuason. Back pass. Not there for Bugas to use.
Bugas. Blocked by Jose and now cleared out by Adamson. Here's the counterattack from Adamson. Hayaon trying to go for the ball. But he brought down Talarok. It was too strong of a challenge from the soaring Falcon out there. Dava once more with the possession through Yannick Tuason. Exchanges passes. Now here's Ferrer. Ferrer cutting into the middle of the field. Paulo Bugas with the ball for Cartelaro. Didn't get the first touch right and the ball goes out for a throw in. Looks like Dava will be making an early substitution as Serge Kaule is preparing on the touchline. Dispossessed. And Adamson wins possession again. Long ball forward for Jose. Cleared out by Davao. Now here's Davao on the counter. Shello with possession for the boys in blue and red. Paolo Bugas down the left wing once more. Bugas inside the box looking for Tuazo. Oh, what a lovely save from Andrew Nalog once again. And he's stepping up to the plate just like how Zach Suarez did in the UAAP. But Davao still with possession. Cartalarok inside the box for Shiello. Cleared out only as far as Richard Talarok. And now Hayaon flicks it over. But they will be called for a foul. Adamson being the more physical team out here. As we try to take a look at the pass once again from Paulo Bugas. Fakes it and then sends it inside. And now an early substitution for Davao. Serge Kaule will be making way or will be coming in. Marvin Angeles makes way for their foreign reinforcement. Serge Kaule played with Mendiola FC 1991 as well as Maharlika Manila FC. Or check that only for Maharlika Manila FC. I'm talking about the pros of the young lads that I've followed in his days with Gawad Galinga, Julian Romero watching this game, who might see. His first minutes in the Copa Paulino Alcantara with Kaya FC Iloilo. He will be coming in in the second round of the matches of the Copa. Tuason couldn't get the pass. Jose blocked by Talaro. Here Serge Kaule with his first touch of the ball. Kaule over to the left side for Ferrer. Still with Ferrer. Great defense from Adamson. Holding the veteran. Now Adamson wins it. Tackle from Ferrer. He's judged for a foul. And a card is coming out. First yellow card of the game. And that goes to Ferrer. Adamson with a free kick. If you've just joined us in the 36th minute of this game, well, you haven't missed much as the scoreline stays nil-nil. Adamson with possession once again through the throw-in. So check that, Serge Kaole. My mistake once again. Played with Mendiola FC 1991. Also have been... a uh, a long time player here in the Philippines playing with the likes of Kaya FC and Global FC before.
Uy, may legend na nanonood sa atin. Roel Hener, watching from the Philippine Army Gym. Isa sa mga legends ng Asgals yan. Sa Roel Hener. Adamson, inside the box. But makukuha yan ni Kenneth Gubalio. Davao, may dala ng bola. Paolo Bugas, binigay kay Yannick Tuason. Tuason, inaabol ang bola. Tuason. Si Tuason pa din, pero ibabalik na yan kay Paolo Bugas. Bugas. Hindi lumusot yung pasa ni Bugas. Babalik ang bola para sa Davao Aguilas Yumak FC. Paulo Bugas, Serge Cowley, Talarok over the bar, but that is threatening. Let's take a look again on that strike from Kart Talarok. This left foot is going over the crossbar. Siyang tignan nga natin ko talagang attentive yung mga viewers natin. Sino kaya yung mga nagme-merienda ngayon? Pa-share nga sa ating stream kung anong mga merienda nyo. Padala nyo na rin dito sa RMS. Uy, Angel's Burger daw. <laughs> Pengin naman ako niyan. Dalawang order ng cheeseburger with bacon and egg. Davao. Pabalik ang bola sa kanila. Adamson. Di nakuha ni Hayaon yung flick na yun. Jose. Binigay kay Mahinay. Pero makukuha yan ni Kenneth Gubalio. Uh, Di ba? Sabi sa iyo eh, attentive yung mga viewers natin eh. May gumakain ng banana chips. May nagkakape sa malamig na hapon dahil maulan. At may nanonood daw, watching with my jowa. O eh, di sana on. Pansit kanton daw ang merienda ni Mark Renzon. Babalik tayo sa aksyon. Paolo Bugas. Binigay kay Cielo. Babalik kay Bugas ang bola. Ferrer. Kaule. Ang may tanga ng bola para sa Davao. Bilis ilipat ng Davao ang play dito sa kanan. Talarok. Adamson asking for uh, throw in. Pero hindi binigay ng ating referee. Kaule. Ang may dala ulit ng bola para sa Davao. Tuason, siya naman na magdadala. Ibibigay niya kay Clarinho dito sa kanan. Clarinho, sa loob ng box, lumagpas ang bola. Kay Cielo. Konting-konti na lang at nalalapit na ang chance ng Davao na makiscore. Habang inihintay natin yung throw-in, patuloy natin pakinggan yung mga merienda ng mga viewers natin. May nagme-merienda ng manok, may nagme-merienda ng pancit kanton. Ano pa? O may nagkakape na naman. O, o talaga may nanonood nga sa Davao, may kumakain din daw ng durian habang nanonood ng game na to. Sarap yan ha. Hayaon, balik tayo rito sa aksyon. Pinasa dito kay Mahinay. Mahinay kontra Clarinho. Mahinay. Still with Mahinay. Oh, wide of the left post. Tignan mo nga naman tong batang to. Carl Mahinay against Clarinho, one of the seasoned players here in club football, making his way past the defender. Ngunit hindi nga lang nakuha yung goal na yun. Davao ngayon ang magdadala ng bola. Serge Kaule, binigay dito kay Kart Talarok dito sa kanan. Talarok, babalik yan kay Serge Kaule. 
Kaulay, hinanap si Bugas. 1-2 para kay Tuason, pero nakuha ng depensa ng Adamson. Babalik pa rin para kay Serge Kaulay. Kaulay, hinahanap si Bugas. Bugas, ibibigay sa kaliwa naman para kay Ferrer. Nakuha ng depensa, pero babalik ang bola kay Bugas. Ba, social yung isa nagmimerienda, caviar. Okay, padala mo na dito yan. Kart Talaro, kibinigay ang bola para kay Paolo Bugas dun sa kaliwa. Bugas. Papasok sa loob ng box. Oo, oh, medyo shaky. Pero nakuha yan ni Andrew Nalog. Oh, may nagsabi naman sa atin, sa kabilang dako naman ng, uh, ng South Manila. Diyan sa Carmona, Cavite, kung saan meron ngayon ang Philippine Women's League. Stick o lang daw ang merienda, sabi ni JM. <laughs> Ba't kami, wala kami stick o dito. Pengi kami niya. <laughs> so sana sinusuportahan nyo rin yung game na yan, ano, mga viewers natin. Bukod sa Copa Paulino Alcantara, on our women's counterpart, we have the... Uh, the Women's League here in the Philippines. Some of the top collegiate teams as well as clubs here in the Philippines battling it out for women's supremacy. Ba, di pa rin sila tapos mag-share ng merienda. Caviar with buko juice. Tuason, ang may dala ng bola para sa Davao. Tuason, pinigay sa gitna para kay Talarok. Mahinay ang magki-clear ng bola para sa Adamson. Shout out daw Jasper Luage, shout out watching with SK Chairman JR Dalmacio. No, oh, Jerwin Cordova Bulalo at Rice sa malamig na panahon. Aba, eh sana all talaga umihihigop ng mainit na sabaw ng Bulalo. Jen Ho Shao, watching from Abu Dhabi. <laughs> Grabe naman yung isang merienda, tinapay at 1.5 na cobra. <laughs> Baka naman, gising, gising ka magdamag niyan. Huwag mo namang ubusin ng isang upuan lang yung cobra. Tuwaso, yung binigay dito kay Clarino. Medyo nag enjoy tayo sa mga merienda nyo. Ha? Sana nag enjoy din kayo dito sa game na to. At ganun-ganun lang, hindi natin napapansin. Patapos na ang oras dito sa first half. Isang minuto ang idadagdag ng ating referee. Ating fourth official na si Chris Mark Nanyola. Talarok inside the box. Uy! Dumulas yung bola kay, Nal kay Nalog. Pero wala ang masyadong threat. Ngunit babalik ang bola dito sa Davao Aguilas UMAC FC. So, patapos na ang first half ng ating laro. Habang uh, nagkakaroon ng team talks ang ating uh, teams ngayon sa first game with Davao and Adamson, we can already see the players of Club de Football Manila going down the tunnel and uh, preparing for the match. Mix of young bloods and uh, experienced players as well with uh, Club de Football Manila. They will be facing Loyola FC in our second match of match day 2 ito na ang counter attack ng Davao Aguilas UMAC FC Nicolas Ferrer dun sa kaliwa naghahanap ng papasahan ibinigay kay Shelo Shelo siya pa rin na may dala ng bola Shelo nakuha ng depensa nailabas ng depensa ngunit babalik ang bola sa Davao and that is it first half action is done some intense moments some inspirational movements from the young ones. But as it stands, Davo Aguilas UMAC FC, nil. Adam Uni Adamson University, nil. Halftime stats, analysis, and highlights. We'll be back in a few minutes. Please don't go away. This is your 2023 Copa Paulino Alcantara.
Nagbabalik tayo dito sa Rizal Memorial Stadium para sa continuation ng Copa Paulino Alcantara 2023 sa pagitan ng Davao Aguilas UMAC FC at ng Adamson University. Sa ngayon, nil-nil pa rin ang ating score. Maganda yung naging first half ng dalawang side at uh, pinaka nakakatuwang makita e eh, ang Adamson lumalaban dito sa mga veterans ng Davao. At hopefully, pagpatuloy nila to sa second half. Maganda yung pinapakita rin ng Davao, yung cohesion ng kanilang team kasama ang kanilang mga young players. Konting uh, rundown ng ating stats. Shots as of the moment, apat para sa Davao, two on target. Habang sa Adamson, lima, isa on target para sa kanila. Corners, apat para sa Davao sa ngayon, wala pa para sa Adamson. Possession natin, naglalaro sa 56 to 57% in favor of Davao Aguilas UMAC FC. Pero, hindi natin nakita masyado ang uh, impression ng laro through the possession at nakita natin to na mas maganda yung pinapakita ng Adamson. Meron pa silang 45 minutes para umiscore or sumubok dito sa laro na to at makakuha ng unang panalo dito sa Copa Paulino Alcantara 2023. Habang inihintay natin bumalik ang ating mga players, balikan natin kung nakakuha na kayo ng mga merienda nyo, pakibanggit ulit, eh 15 minutes ang ating halftime. Ano? So, uh, sana enough na panahon yun para makakuha kayo ng merienda. Yung iba, mayroong stick, oh, yung iba, may tinapay at kobra. May iba, nag, may kabiyar pa daw. <laughs> Sa merienda, kabiyar. Oh, may nagdodorian at Siyempre, may, may kumakain ng, ah, may umiinom ng kape habang malamig dahil maulan daw. Hindi ba? Kape? Malamig? Gusto ko yan. <laughs> kape na may kayakap? <laughs> Mapapasa na, Olga na lang talaga. Minsan sa mga live stream ng uh, Philippines Football League or sa Copa, mapapasa na, Olga na lang dahil minsan may nakikitang couples, minsan may nagko-comment na nagsasabi na Uh, may jowa diba? sana kasama nyo sana kasama rin namin yung amin di ba <laughs> ikaw ba dere kamusta ka wala wala jowa ah, <laughs> ayan o oh, kain daw muna ng turon habang half time uh, bangitin natin yung iba pang viewers Carlito Vergara and uh, ito napakasugid na viewer natin ito manlalaro na sa Copa Viewer pa, Kenry Balobo ng uh, Kaya FC Iloilo. Uh, uy, si Zuriel Karel, kumakain po ng lechong baboy. Sana all, pakurot naman ng pisngi. <laughs> Tsaka ng balat. <laughs> ah, rib, oh, nga, masarap nga yun, ribs. Baby back ribs, no? It's lechon belly. <laughs> Gugutom na tuloy ako. <laughs> Sana nag enjoy kayo sa ating uh, nakakatakam na uusapan bago ang pagbabalik ng ating mga players dito sa second half. Pakibanggit na rin kung saan kayo nanonood ngayon dahil tayo napapanood sa Facebook at sa YouTube. Although sa Facebook lang tumitingin si Tito ng mga comments dahil mas madaling basahin yung mga pangalan ng nasa Facebook. At iwas pusoy tayo sa mga pangalan na nasa YouTube kasi paminsan nakakagulat yung mga pangalan sa YouTube na username eh. Medyo sunog eh. Kaya dito lang tayo muna sa Facebook tumingin. Baka ma-flag kami, mahirap na. <laughs> Ayan, si Lara Teola watching from Abu Dhabi. Uh, Ivan uh, Tapel, shout out po sa mabait na ball boy na si Jan Ren, uh, si Renzi Ag Aguila. Si Junel Sabaulan. Shout out sa aking kapatid na si Omar Sabaulan. Uh, Toto Segera watching from Sultan Kudarat. Jerome Yumul uh, nonood sa Bataan. So balik tayo sa action. Christian Bakara ang ipapalit para kay OJ Clarino dito sa ating second half. At uh, so far wala pa tayong nakikitang substitution for Adamson University. So mga natitirang minuto, bilisan na natin yung mga balita sa or mga shoutouts. Shoutout sa Baler Football Club, Nabunturan FC, 
uh, Gingoog City United FC, Sigma Football Club, Vipers FC, at uh, si Virgil Duga Duga na nanonood daw from New Zealand, ba? Malamang manonood to ng uh, FIFA Women's World Cup. Nagaganapin na simula July 21 para sa ating Philippine Women's National Football Team kontra Switzerland dyan sa Dunedin. Sa July 25 naman, makakalaban nila ang co-hosts na New Zealand sa Wellington Regional Stadium at sa July 30 at makakalaban nila ang rank number 11 na Norway dyan sa Eden Park sa Auckland. So, uh, sana subaybayan din natin ang ating Filipinas sa kanilang unang Subok sa FIFA Women's World Cup. At ito na nga, Adamson ang magsisimula ng ating second half action. Doktora, binilik sa likod. Naririnig natin sa ating background, ang supporters ng Adamson University, ang audio ng Adamson University Drum and Yelling Organization, kung di ako nagkakamali sa abbreviation na yun. Pero yan ang kanilang official supporters na naririnig natin sa UAAP Basketball, Volleyball, kung pwede pati sa chess, baka naggaganyan din sila sa chess. So may foul na binigay dito si ating referee. Free kick para sa Davao Aguila. Short. Binigay ni Bugas kay Tuason. Tuason. Umikot. Pero dederecho ang bola sa goalkeeper. Dumulas. At nailabas. Na kanyang depensa. Long ball naman ang binigay ni Doktora. Papunta kay Hayaon. Pero lalabas ang bola para sa throw-in. So Davao ngayon ang may dala ng bola. Ferrer. Muntik nang makuha ng depensa ang bola. Babalik ang bola para sa Davao Aguilas FC. Jimuel Rivas, nagawad kalinga. Salamat sa panonood. Nicolas Ferrer ang magto-throw in. Shello. Si Cart Talarok nakuha ng Adamson ng bola. Babalik yan kay player number 13, Empleo. Para makukuha ulit ng Davao. Header galing kay Yannick Tuason. Surge Kaole. Ngayon ang may dala ng bola para sa Davao. Ibinigay kay Paolo Bugas. Bugas, hindi lang nakontrol ang bola ng maayos. At nakuha agad ni Andrew Nalog. Surge Kaole, nakuha ang bola. Kontra Jose na makukuha ang bola para sa Adamson. Makukuha ulit ni Serge Kaule. Ibinigay kay Cartalarok through ball. Ang binigay para kay Serge Kaule. Pero kulang ang hakbang ni Serge Kaule. Makukuha ng Davao ulit ang bola. Throw in. Ito na ang opensa ng Davao. Pupunta kay Serge Kaule. Alert na naman dito si Nalog. Pero medyo madulas ang gloves ng ating goalkeeper dito. Konting kapit pa Nalog. Konting kapit pa sa bola. Corner ang ibinigay para sa Davao. Ngunit lalabas ang tira ni Talarok. Tingnan natin ulit yung uh, ito yung attempt nung first half galing kay Mahinay. So babalikan natin yung mga attempts ngayon ng uh, Davao. Pero sa ngayon nakakalimang corner na dito ang Davao Aguilas UMAC FC. Nalog. Went for the short option. 
Dadalin ngayon sa taas, papunta kay Kasing. Ngunit lalabas ang bola para sa throw-in ng Davao. Bugas ngayon ang may dala. Through ball para sa numero 8. Walang kinapuntahan ng pasa. Tuason asking na mas mababa na lang sana yung pinasa dito ni Sapal. Adamson ngayon, susubok ulit, galing sa likod, mahinay, ngunit lalabas ang bola para sa throw-in. Pagpasensya nyo na paminsan kung babalik tayo sa English commentary as we also have uh, some international viewers. So we just want to cater on both sets of fans and viewers. Doktora right now for possession of Adamson but the ball goes out. Foul ang itinawag ng ating referee and uh, seems like it's going to be another card for Davao. Yes, it is a yellow card for Cielo on this sequence. So with five fouls so far, two yellow cards ang meron para sa Davao Aguilas. So rather a strong challenge. Hopefully we'll get to see this one again for the foul. But as of the moment, two players, namely Ferrer and Cielo, walking down the tightrope with the yellow cards already. So free kick ngayon para sa Adamson University. be taken by Buena Obra long ball ang hinahanap ni Buena Obra lalagpas sa teammates niya may deflection makukuha ni Hayaon pero handball ang itinawag ng ating referee or offside actually ang itinawag ng ating referee Foul ngayon for Adamson. Bola babalik para sa Davao. Serge Kaule for Davao Aguilas. UMAC FC inside the box looking for Shello. Step too late for Shello for that pass. Let's see this again from Serge Kaule, who delivered it inside the box for Shello, but just couldn't tap it in for the goal. So Adamson ulit ang gagawa ng opportunity nila. Galing dito sa likod, Buena Obra. Long ball papunta sa harapan. Hayaon. Hindi nakuha ang bola. Header para sa Adamson. Adamson ngayon. Ang susubok. Hugas is down. Na, or rather talarok. Nakaramdam ng konting uh, solid challenge from Adamson. Now, Doktora. Papasok sa loob ng box. Ilalabas siya ng ang depensa ng Davao. At throw in para sa Adamson University. Tora ngayon, ibibigay niya yan kay Hayaon. Babalik ang bola sa numero 30. Bagsak sa inside the box. Ang sabi ng ating referee, no penalty. Kaka-counter attack naman ngayon ang Davao Aguilas FC with Serge Kaule. Serge asking for a foul. Nothing is given. So two great judgments from our referee. 
Mick John Pineda not giving the penalty on that easy challenge or easy uh, takedown. And then Serge Kaule not given that foul as well. Adamson, ngayon ang susubok. Makukuha ulit ni Cart Talaro. Ibibigay kay Paolo Bugas. Bugas, sinahanap si Shelo dito sa kaliwa. Shelo, may bola. Shelo, nag-iisa lang siya ngayon. Shelo, cut back. Ibinigay sa gitna. Babalik yan kay Paolo Bugas. Serge Kaule. Kaule. Gaging the defense of Adamson. Still, Serge Kaule faking it. Will not take it. At babalik yan sa likod. Strike mula sa numero 8 na si Sapal. Ngunit derecho sa goalkeeper. Ferrer. Bugas. Bugas ngayon ang uh, cog ng midfield ng Davao Aguilas Umac FC. Cartalarok. Magdadala ng bola para sa Davao. Binigay kay Paolo Bugas. Sisimula na ni Bugas ang opensa ng Davao. Ngunit magkakaroon ng foul dito kay Banagodos. Quick through para sa Davao. Oh! Ang ganda naman ng pagkakasave dito ni Andrew Nalog. Tignan natin ulit ang bilis ng ginawa ni Paolo Bugas dun sa pasa para kay Yannick Tuason. Ngunit napakabilis din ang reaksyon ni Andrew Nalog pero may atake na naman dito ang Davao. Lalabas na naman ang bola para sa isa pang corner. Pang-anim na corner ng Davao. Short para kay Ferrer. Ferrer inside the box. Serge Cowley with the header. Headed away as well by Adamson. And now finally cleared towards the goalkeeper on the other side for Gubalio. Sapal, ibinigay kay Ferrer. Ferrer, ibinigay kay Tuason. Tuason, great first touch. Looking for the second. Yes, he will get it. Tuason, Serge Cowley, 1-2. Tuason ulit. Shelo, umihingi sa gitna. Kaule! Ulit na lang daw, sabi ni Serge Kaule. So kung may oras pa kayo, isang oras at kalahati pa bago ang ating second game between Loyola and uh, Club de Football Manila. Nandito lang naman tayo sa Rizal Memorial Stadium. Wala na tayong ibang pupuntahan pa. Sana makapunta kayo kung nandito kayo sa Metro Manila. Katarinin, binigay kay Talarok. Iniwan para kay Paolo Bugas. Bugas, babalik yan kay Sapal. Great one two para sa Davao. Eto na ngayon ang Davao. Car Talarok, may dala ng bola. Hinahanap yung options niya. Paolo Bugas, papasok sa gitna. Ibinigay kay Kaule, pero mailalabas ng depensa. Sapal, sa gitna. Sapal, binalik kay Kaule. Kaule, faking it into the middle. Blocked once again by Adamson University. Stout defensive skills right now in this play by the Soaring Falcons. Talarok from distance. Oh! Slip! Saved it! And Kaule! First goal for Davao Aguilas Umac FC! A poacher that he is! Serge Kaule! A strike from Talarok, nakuha ni Nalog, pero it was the end of it. The buttery gloves of Andrew Nalog already giving the goal for Serge Kaule. And that's 1-0 for Davao Aguilas Umac FC. And finally, after 58 minutes, Davao was able to find a breakthrough.
And they have Andrew Nalog to thank on that goal. Medyo unfortunate yung nangyari for Andrew Nalog. Kanina pa dumudulas yung bola sa gloves nito ni Andrew Nalog. But we thought that only time will tell. And just like that, Serge Kaule was the poacher and very alert dun sa option or dun sa possibility na yun. At nakuha niya ang unang goal sa pagbabalik ng Davao Aguilas UMAC FC dito sa Copa Paulino Alcantara. So habang uh, may medical attention dito si Andrew Nalog, tignan nga ulit natin kung ano yung nangyari. Talarok, long distance effort, dumulas sa gloves ni Nalog and uh, napunta dito kay Serge Kaule. Napaganda yung pagkadulas ng bola sa kamay ni Nalog. Although dun sa sequence na yun nakita rin natin na si Andrew Nalog it tumama siguro yung uh, kanang uh, hita niya dito sa goalpost. Kaya ngayon eh, merong uh, medical treatment na binibigay sa kanya. And uh, hopefully, unlike yesterday, na almost both goalkeepers from Don Bosco Garelli United uh, were injured, eh, sana makabalik pa rin ng maayos dito si Andrew Nalog. He's been doing really well in the first half. Nakita natin na Davao has been piling on the pressure. Four shots dun sa first half. Nakakuha ng uh, dalawang shots on target ang uh, Davao pero nakuha rin dito ni Andrew Nalog. At ngayon, eh, uh, mukhang makakabalik itong sinalog sa laro. So, welcoming sign para sa Adamson na isang one key player nila. Eh, makakabalik dito. So we'll have a restart of the game as Adamson now trails a goal to nil against Davao Aguilas UMAC FC. First goal of the match courtesy of Serge Kaule on the 58th minute. At uh, Davao ulit ang aatake rito. They have the momentum, they have the time on their side. And so far they're using it pretty well. Si Kent Garcia na nanonood lang kanina ng ating stream e kakaraan lang dito sa ating commentary booth at manonood to for sure ng ating second game kung saan kakalabanin nila ang Loyola at ang Club de Football Manila at 6.30 here at the Rizal Memorial Stadium Dava ulit ang atake full on defense right now for Adamson University the soaring Falcons have been clipped one of their wings have been clipped in this game so far, but hopefully they will come back to produce another dramatic game here at the Rizal Memorial Stadium. So goal kick para dito sa Davao Aguilas FC. A rather free kick. That is a foul. Jorex Cruz, one of the admins of the Philippines Football League Fans United Facebook group watching us as well. Thank you for the wonderful feedback as well of our match day one. Balik tayo dito sa laro with Nicolas Ferrer. Great exchange of passes from Shello and Sapal. Ferrer covered by two players in white. Babalik kay Sapal ang bola. And dito tayo sa likod. Ito naman si Sapal. Talarok. Hindi makukuha ng depensa. Ito na si Shello ng Davao. Paolo Bugas. Di makakalusot dito kay Doktora. Kukunin ulit ni Bugas ang bola. Nakuha na ni Bugas ang bola. Tuason, binigay kay Shiello pero makukuha ng depensa ng Adamson. Adamson ngayon, hahanap ulit ng chance sa taas. 
Pero makukuha ulit ng Davo ang bola. Serge Cowley. Inahanap dito yung teammate niya. Makukuha ni Mahinay. Mahinay. Challenge dito ni player number 21 na si Christian Bacara na pumalit kay, Twa, uh, kay uh, Clarinho kanina. So may foul na ibibigay dito ang ating referee para sa Adamson. Medyo nagiging physical na ating laro. So far, seven fouls each for Davao and Adamson University. Free kick for Adamson. Long ball forward galing kay Jose. Makukuha na naman yan ng Davao. Magkakaroon ng substitution ng Adamson dito on the dead ball. Now, ito na ang Adamson. Oh, sayang yung pasa. Babalik ang bola sa depensa ng Adamson. Doktora, humihingi ng pasa sa taas. Makukuha ni Ferrer. Ferrer, babalik sa likod. Nakuha ng depensa or nakuha na ni Hayaon. Hayaon, na-block yung tira ni Hayaon. Ito na ulit, ang Davao, Serge Cowley. Serge Cowley, hinahanap dito si Paolo Bugas sa kaliwa. Nakuha ang pasa. Paolo Bugas, may dala ng bola para sa Davao Aguilas, Umac FC. Ipapasok sa loob. Balik tayo sa depensa ng Adamson for the goal kick. At ito na ang substitution para sa Adamson University. Player number 30 na si Buena Obra lalabas para kay player number 8, Kyril Parao. At player number 11 na si Demnes Arañas papasok dito sa laro para kay player number 26 na si Dexter Kassing. Unti-unti nang pumapasok ang Frente Naranya na susuporta sa Loyola FC sa ating pangalawang laro. So ito na ang delivery galing sa likod. Sisimula ang play ng Adamson. Empleyo, nakalusot kanina pero makukuha ulit ng Davao ang bola. Bugas, not a great first touch. Empleyo, binigay ang bola para kay Aranyas. Aranyas, still with Aranyas. Gets past two players in blue and red. And now Adamson on the counter attack. Empleyo. Ito na si Aranyas. Aranyas, ibibigay ang bola sa loob. Makukuha ng Adamson. Oy, may foul na ibigay. Ang ating referee. Sayang na naman ang opportunity ng Adamson. So unti-unti nang nabubuhayan ulit ang Adamson sa kanilang opensa. Makukuha nila ang bola pero foul ulit ang ibinigay ng ating referee at mukhang hindi masaya si Paolo Bugas dun sa foul na yon. Sabi ko na eh, halftime lang talaga eh. Balik tayo sa 1.2K viewers sa ating Facebook stream. Eh, ayaan naman natin sila magpahinga at mag-browse ng 15 minutes sa Facebook. No? Adamson, ang may bola ulit. Jose, hindi niya nakuha ang pasa. Babalik ang bola para sa Davao Aguilas Umac FC. Ito na si Serge Cowley. Nahanap ang pangalawang goal niya sa laro. Serge Cowley, nagahanap ng teammate. Still Cowley. Ito na, Talarok blocked by Jose. Throw in para sa Davao Aguilas, Umac FC. Tignan natin anong magagawa ng Davao dito kung makakadagdag sila dun sa 1-0 advantage nila over Adamson University. Richard Talarok, ibinigay ang bola kay Serge Cowley dun sa kanan. Cowley, 
Umeke. O yan, nakilusot ni ka uli. Pero makukuha ng depensa ng Adamson ng bola. At aatake na ang Adamson. Makakalipad ba yung isang ibon? Dahil mukhang nakakaalagwas na ang mga agila. Pero ito na ang soaring falcons ng Adamson. Ibinigay ang bola para kay Aranyas. Alert dun sa possibility na yun. Si Gubalyo nagahanap ng quick throw in ng Adamson. Ibinigay kay Empleo. Babalik ang bola para kay Doktora. 1-2 para kay Hayaon. Hayaon, tackled. Nita Larok, no foul. Ang ibinigay ng ating referee, Paolo Bugas, ngayon ang may dala ng bola para sa Davao. Talarok, hinanap si Tuason. Tuason, walang masyadong umaangat ngayon para sa Davao. Ilalabas nila ang bola for fair play dahil bumagsak dito si Hayaon. Kung di tayo nagkakamali. Medyo interesting yung play na yun. Sana makakuha tayo ng replay ng foul. Kung meron man. Mabalikan na lang natin yan sa highlights. And uh, Hayaon is back up to his feet. Coach Darlton Diga, former player of Adamson. Fair play for Adamson University. Ibabalik nila ang bola sa kanilang goalkeeper na si... Or babalik ang bola para sa Davao goalkeeper na si Gubalio. Davao ulit na may bola. Jose offside dito si Hayaon. So hindi na niya kinuha yung bola. Pero great intention for, from Jose. Ito na ang Adamson, makukuha ni Mahinay ang bola. Ibinigay kay Hayaon pero nakuha ng depensa ng Davao Aguilas, UMAC FC. At aabante ngayon ng Davao, Yannick Tuason, makukuha ang bola. Hinahanap si Paolo Bugas. Bugas, may dala ng bola. Through ball para kay Yannick Tuason dito sa kaliwa. Yannick Tuason, ang gandang tackle naman noon, doktora. Malinis pa sa biniling bangus at palengke yung tackle na yun. Ferrer. Ito na si Serge Cowley. Babalik ang bola kay Richard Talarok. Doon naman tayo sa kaliwa kay Bakara. Babalik kay Richard Talarok. Dadalin sa harapan para kay Serge Cowley. Kaule pa rin na may dala ng bola. Yanig Tuaso nasa gitna. Ibibigay ba? Hindi. Ibinigay kay Shelo. Shelo, pumege. Paolo Bugas, pumege din. Ibinigay kay Bakara. Straight sa gloves. Nitong sinalog. Adamson ulit ang magdadala ng bola dahil may foul para sa Davao Aguilas doon. Dederecho ang bola sa goalkeeper ng Davao Aguilas. Ferrer. Bugas. Binalik kay Ferrer. Former teammates in a Far Eastern University. Tamaraos in their championship run. Now here's Talarok on the counter attack once more para sa Davao Aguilas Humac FC. Serge Kaule bibigay kay Talarok walang offside. Talarok pa rin fakes it pinasa sa gitna. Goal for Cielo. Two nil. For Davao Aguilas FC in the 74th minute of the match, courtesy of player number 12, Rendon Cielo.
Let's see this play once more. Ang ganda ng pasa from Talarok. And Rendon Cielo scores the second goal of the game. Makes it 2-0 for Davao Aguilas UMAC FC. Rendon, mukhang nakapag-motivational rise tayo bagong game. At nakascore tayo ng goal. Give credit where it's due as it was a great pass that came from Kart Talarok. Dava ulit ang may dala ng bola. Bugas, nagahanap ng pasa. Jose makukuha ang bola for Adamson. Jose ngayon ang may dala ng bola. Binigay kay Hayaon. Ibibigay dito sa kanan para kay Aranyas. Aranyas magdadala ng bola for Adamson. Magahanap ng teammate, magahanap ng option dun sa harap. Hindi binigay ang off, overload or offload dito para sa uh, kanan kay Doktora. Babalik ang bola kay Aranyas. And playo 1-2 with his teammate. Strike galing sa likod. Diretso sa goalkeeper. Dumulas. Ngunit makukuha niya ulit yan. Ferrer, hinahanap si Yannick Tuason, nakakuha yung bola. Tuason, ibibigay ulit dito kay Talarok sa kaliwa. Hahanap na naman ng pasa. Kaya ganda na naman ng pasa niya para kay Shielo. Lalagpas sa goalkeeper. Makukuha ngayon. Ninalog ang bola. And... Uh, 76 minutes of play Two goals ngayon Para sa Davao Aguilas FC Just wanna give a shout out to Coach Fitch Hans Arboleda Of the University of the East Bola ngayon para sa Adamson University With the foul on Davao Ba, Coach Mukhang ini-scout mo na ang Adamson ngayon ha? Medyo maaga pa bago mag-UAAP Substitution para sa Davao Aguilas UMAC FC Tatlo ang papasok Number 27, number 7, and number 22 Yan sila Number 7, Uriel Dalapo 27, Axel Horst Andres And uh, Ilwain Dalam Ang papasok para dito sa Davao Aguilas UMAC FC Papilitan nila dito si Yannick Tuason, si Sapal at si Cielo. So time to infuse that University of Makati DNA para dito kay Coach Aber Ruzgal. Isang pagbati sa iyo, aking kaibigan na si Ivan Saldajeno. <laughs> Maraming salamat sa comment mo. Adamson, oh, ang sakit nun. Down dito ang player ng Adamson na si... Ivan Francisco So let's look at some of the fans here at the Rizal Memorial Stadium Ito pa pala tayo dun sa view na yun at uh, dito tayo sa Rizal Memorial Save Nakikita natin na medyo marami rin naman ang nanonood dito sa Grandstand Medyo maulan so mas maganda na nandito tayo sa Grandstand And uh, so far, eh, inviting ang Copa Paulino Alcantara Paalala ko lang po sa lahat, ano? libre po ang entrance dito sa Rizal Memorial Stadium So isama nyo na lahat kahit buong barangay nyo Manood kayo ng Copa Paulino Alcantara Davao Aguilas ang atake pero makukuha dito ni 
Francisco. Substitution naman ulit for Adamson. Player number 16, si Arnulfo Villanueva. Papasok dito sa laro, pati si John Coquilla. Papalitan nila dito si Casey Napili. At si Hayaon. Shout out as well to Coach Richard Lable who's watching this game. And now, Davao with possession once again. Feeling ko may hinihintay pa tayong player dito from Davao na pumasok. Pero ito muna, chance para sa Adamson makukuha na, or rather Davao makukuha ng Adamson. Babalik ang bola dito kay Talarok sa likod. Sisimulan na ulit ang play. Dito sa likod kay Talarok. Ito na ang bola para kay player number 22 na si Dalam. Dalam, tagal dito kay Doktora pero walang foul ang ibinigay. So goal kick for Adamson University. Ewan ko lang ha, pero parang hinihintay kong maglaro rin si Santino Rosales eh. Nang Davao Aguilas UMAC FC. Uy, may legendary goalkeeper din na nanonood sa atin. Ron Bayan Jr. Ha? Tinitignan niya yung mga posibleng sumunod sa yapak niya. Shoutout sa iyo, Idol. Ito na ulit ang Davao. Oh. Makukuha nila ang bola. May ganda ng dribble dito ni Talarok. Ibibigay kay Bugas. Babalik kay Talarok. Binalik sa gitna kay Dalam. Dalam, nagahanap ng option sa gitna. Ibinalik dito kay number 27, Andres. Andres pa rin na may dala. Ibibigay kay Kaole. Kaole pa rin na may dala. Sa loob ng box para kay number 22, Dalam. Pero sumablay ang tira niya. At ilalabas ito. Ni Buena Obra. Adamson, makukuha ang bola. Jose, hinahanap yung teammate niya sa harapan. Makukuha ni Richard Talarok ang bola na yan. Ibibigay niya dito kahit dalam pero makukuha ni Arañas. Jose, nagahanap ng papasahan. Ibabalik sa likod kay Buena Obra. Adamson, despite trailing two goals to nil, still showing some promise just like what they were doing in the UAAP. Let's see if they can prevent another goal as Serge Kaule gets possession for the Davao Aguilas UMAC FC. Andres. Long ball forward. Dinahanap dito si Dalapo. Pero lalabas ang bola for another goal kick. Just about eight minutes remaining in this game. And Davao Aguilas University of Makati FC are sitting pretty with a two goal advantage over the soaring Falcons of San Marcelino Jose binalik ang bola sa kanyang teammate hindi makukuha yung pasa sa harapan pero makukuha ni Empleo ang bola great turn from Mahinay still with Mahinay hinahanap dito si Doktora ang ganda ng through ball para kay Doktora dito sa kanan Doktora inside the box looking for Arañas. Makukuha ni Bakara ang bola. At lalabas ang bola para sa Adamson University. So, kala natin merong konting injury dito si Mahinay, uh, cramps. So, after this game, magsaging pa tayo ng konti, ano po, para maiwasan natin yung mga cramps na yan. Paalala lang sa ating mga players. Pero, nakita naman natin kung gano'ng ka-intense din yung laro. So, 
valid naman yan. Aranyas. Ngayon ang may bola. Binigay kay Mahinay. Ngunit sumablay yung touch ni Mahinay dito. Dalam. May dala ng bola para sa Davao. Makukuha ng player number 13. Na si Empleo. Uy, hindi nakalusot yung bola. Ito na ulit ang Davao Aguilas. Dalam. Ball is out. Throw in. Doctora couldn't get to the ball. But just about five minutes remaining. And we can hear Adamson cheering. Go, go. Adamson, let's go. But they're trailing two goals to nil against Davao. Adamson will regain possession once more. The final five minutes of the game. Can they make something out of this possession? Just like what they have done in the UAAP with their late game dramatics. And Adamson now on the counter attack. He gets past Bakara. Bakara still getting the possession for Davo Aguilas. And he will kick it out for a throw in. Final substitutions in the works for Davo Aguilas UMAC FC as we will have a substitution of the goalkeeper. Gubalio will be checking out for Joshua Halog. And then Gans Mari Antipuesto. We'll come into this game as well, replacing Nicolas Ferrer. Great rotation here from Coach Aber Ruzgal, having used. All of the substitutes available for his side. Six new players introduced. Five mainstays to finish this game off. Adamson with the ball. Makukuha ulit ng Davao. Pero susubukan ulit ng Adamson makuha ang possession. Ito na ang Adamson. Bakara with the tackle. Kuha pa rin ang Adamson ng bola. Aranyas. Mulas pero nakuha ulit. Aranyas. Mahinay! Mahina. Yung shot ni Mahinay. Let's see this again. Magsak dito si Aranyas pero nakuha niya ulit ang bola. Gamit ni Mahinay yung weak foot niya na kaliwa. At lalabas ang bola. So ito na ulit ang Adamson University. Makukuha ni Dala po ang bola. Ang babata na ng players ng Davao ngayon. Mukhang magkakaroon pa tayo ng substitution dito for Adamson. Bugas, binalik ang bola kay Antipuesto. Nandito ngayon tayo sa likod with Paolo Bugas. Jose with the pressure. Makukuha ni Mahina yung bola. Jose, back pass papunta kay Aranyas. Ang ganda ng tagal ni Antipuesto. Substitution tayo ngayon for Adamson. Player number 20, team captain Jose. Pabalitan dito ni Player number 25, Jerome Martinez at si Mahinay, papalitan din ni player number 6 na si Argel Barra. Throwing ngayon para sa Adamson University. Aranyas, binalik kay Doktora, balik kay Aranyas. Iyo tayo kay Ocho na si Parao. Pero lumabas yung pasan na yon para kay Doktora. Long ball, pupunta sa harapan, galing kay Francisco. Lumagpas dito kay substitute na si Bara. Makukuha ulit ng Davao ang bola. 
Paolo Bugas, one of the senior players of Davao, sending the ball forward for Dalapo. Headed away. Makukuha ulit dito ni Talarok. Talarok, naghahanap ng option. Talarok, gagawa ng option ng sarili niya. Talarok, titira. Makukuha ulit ni Nalog. Parao. Papunta sa kaliwa. Adamson, pasugod sa harap. Makukuha ni Richard Talarok ang bola. Pressure stays on. Bara. Talarok goes down and throw in para sa Adamson University in the dying minutes of the game. We're just waiting for the signal from Chris Magnanola on how many minutes it's going to be added here in the second half. Parao. Tanang Adamson on the counter attack. We'll have six minutes and a strike hits the post. Para dito kay Bara. Player number six on six minutes of added time. Sumablay yung shot. Tignan natin ulit. Galing sa kaliwa ang Adamson. Ibinigay dito sa gitna para kay Bara. But just hits the left side of the post. They're inching closer for a goal. And Adamson is staying in attack. Foul is going to be called against Dalam on a dangerous spot for a free kick for Adamson University. Kind of a tight, tight angle. For the free kick, but nevertheless, a chance. Para dito sa Adamson University to snatch a goal back and breathe some life into their side. They will challenge the substitute goalkeeper, Joshua Halog. And here's the free kick. Fake inside the box. Saved by Halog. But the chance is still here. And Adamson saved once more by Halog. A bicycle kick. Another one. But no. A bicycle hit the player. Tignan natin ulit. Katarinin yung tinamaan dun sa bicycle kick. Let's take a look at the free kick once again. Saved by Halog. And then... A strike. Sumubok sa bicycle kick pero tinamaan dito si Katarinin. The bicycle kick from, I think that was player number 6. Na si Bara. Adamson. Plenty of options. Ang dami na nila dito sa harapan. Adamson ulit ang may dala ng bola. Doktora, hahanap ng options sa harapan. I-head niya yan palabas. Papunta dito kay player number 16. Na si Villanueva. Ngunit di makukuha yung pasa at goal kick para dito sa Davao Aguilas, UMAC FC. Ito yung chance ulit dito kay Villanueva, dito sa kaliwa. And here's Davao once more. Three minutes remaining in the game. Adamson with possession. Can they snatch a goal back? Just a consolation goal. 1-2 Almost telegraph Pero makukuha dito ni Aranyas Aranyas Great dribble Bibigay sa gitna Number 25 May dala ng bola Strike Derecho sa goalkeeper What a strike from Jerome Martinez Pero derecho dito kay Halog Clearance From the goalkeeper Dalapo Babalik ang bola dito sa Davao. Talarok. Binigay ang bola dito kay Dalam. Dalam. Looking for options. Binigay sa gitna. Papunta kay Dalapo. Pero pupunta ulit ang bola sa goalkeeper na sinalog.
Doctora looking for that one precious chance for Adamson and Aranas with the ball for Adamson inside the box headed down but still a chance for Adamson taken down inside the box they're looking for a foul and referee Mick John Pineda says it's a corner for Adamson University their first and possibly their only corner of the match with 1 minute and 15 seconds remaining in the first half or second half rather nawawala na rin ako sa aking sarili sa init ng laro natin towards the final few minutes of the game Corner for Adamson University. Arañas will take the corner. So, counting medical attention muna dito sa player ng Adamson. He's going to take some time off the clock, but as what we have noticed in the 2022 FIFA World Cup, Ang mga referee natin ngayon ay nabigyan na ng instructions to add more time if we have more stoppages in the game. At one point sa FIFA World Cup, umabot pa nga yata ng 10 minutes yung added time. 11 minutes. So nakikita natin ngayon na you cannot waste time anymore because the referee is just gonna add more time to that additional time na idadagdag niya at the end of the half. So now, Adamson with a chance from this corner to be taken by player number 8, Nasi Parao. The second team captain of Adamson University soaring Falcons. Here's a delivery inside the box. Header, glancing header that is. It's going to be cleared out by Talarok. Out of danger. Adamson still trying to win possession towards the final moments of the game. Dalam to Bugas, missed the control. Now Adamson with possession. Great one, two, and Pleo. Pressured on by two players is Parao. Bibigay niya kay Empleo. Empleo ngayon, challenge from behind. Throw in for Adamson University. Adamson looking for that one final chance. Foul against Adamson University as Dalam goes down. And referee Mick John Pineda calls time. Davo Aguilas FC or Davo Aguilas Umac FC. Soared higher than the Soaring Falcons in the opening game of their campaign here. The Copa Paulino Alcantara 2023 and wins by two goals to nil. Courtesy of Serge Cowley in the 58th minute. And Rendon Cielo in the 74th minute of the match. Adamson University, you can keep your heads held high. As you have displayed some great football in this game against Davao, hindi biro na makalaban mo ang mga professional dati na naglalaro ngayon dito sa Davao. Hindi rin biro yung aksyon ay pinakita sa atin dito ng Davao Aguilas at ng Adamson University. But as of the moment, Davao gets their first win of the campaign, the Cop Paulino Alcantara gets their first three points. Coach Darlton Dega and the rest of Adamson University will go back to the drawing board and figure out what they're going to do next.
Some rundown of view stats in the game. Davao amped up the attack in second half, getting eight shots on target, or eight shots in total, three on target, two of them being converted into a goal in the second half. On the other side, Adamson with seven shots, three of them on target, but missing that precious goal. Our next match will be between the returning Loyola FC and the newcomers, Club de Football Manila. 6.30 p.m. at the Rizal Memorial Stadium. From the rest of us here at the broadcast panel, we would like to thank you all for watching the first game of Sunday Doubleheader here at the Rizal Memorial Stadium. Once again, my name is Jamer De La Cruz, and we'll leave you with the highlights of the match. <laughs>